Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see how to define encapsulation in OOPS concept. Suppose in interview, you are getting question like define OOPS concept with real time example, then the encapsulation part, what you should include in your definition and what to be excluded while defining OOPS concept. So it may help interviewer to ask questions from your answer. Okay, we'll prepare it according to the interview point of view. Before moving into this video, I have a little announcement to make. After that, we'll jump into this video and I promise there will be no interruption while watching this video. The announcement is, did you know that a lot of companies now offers job based on your skills? So you don't need to worry if you don't have a degree from a good college or if you lack experience. Talent and skills is all that matters. So if you think you have got the relevant skills for a job in backend development, the guaranteed salary of minimum 4 LPA for non-tech role and 6 LPA for technical role and this can go up to 15 LPA or more. There is no age restrictions to apply. Experienced candidate can get up to 50% hike in their salary by applying to their next job through Relevel. I'm going to share with you two amazing companies that will hire you in just 15 days. Zoomcar and Jupiter. Who has not heard about this company? These companies are now hiring freshers and people with no experience through Relevel by an academy. All you have to do is register for a Relevel test, which is totally free. No video resume required anymore. And after this, and get an amazing job based on your skills. You can check out this candidate, Tanishk Singh, who has taken the test in backend development and he got package worth 40 LPA in cred. So you can see it's worth. So what are you waiting for? All links are there in the description. Please go ahead and check it out and apply for the right profile. Now let's jump into this video. So what is encapsulation? You know what is capsule, right? The definition is same as what you already know. So encapsulation is wrapping of data and corresponding method into a single unit is called encapsulation. But this is not the end of the answer by answering in any interview. You need to tell how to achieve encapsulation. It can be only achieved by data hiding and abstraction. So in my previous lecture, I have explained in detail what is abstraction in OOPS concept. If you haven't gone through that, that video, I will highly recommend you to please go through that video so that you'll get an idea how to answer abstraction in your interview. Now in this video, I'll be covering data hiding. Now in the interview, you don't need to tell what is data hiding and what is abstraction. You only have to say how you can achieve encapsulation by data hiding and abstraction. And you need to, if the interviewer is asking you to write the program, you can write the program, which I will be covering in this video. And you can say, why do we need encapsulation? You, that, that part also I'll be covering in this video. So in, in, in any interview, you need to answer three things. If you know the definition, it's well and good. You need to tell how to achieve it. And you need to tell why we need it. And in case if the interviewer is asking you to write the program, you can write it. Now, let's cover what is data hiding. In the interview, you don't need to tell what is data hiding until or unless the interviewer is not asking you to explain. Let's check it out. What is data hiding? Data hiding it, it itself saying hiding of data from outside person means outside person can't access our internal data directly that is called data hiding by using private modifier you can implement data hiding so here you can see i have declared a variable and that is private so this is how we can achieve data hiding so what is data hiding hiding information from outside world or outside any person how you can achieve it by using private modifier. Now suppose in any interview, the interviewer is asking you how to write encapsulation program. 
so this is the basic demonstration of the encapsulation program you can see here we have declared a variable string name and that is private means the data hiding part to achieve encapsulation you need to have getter setter method for that variable for that data member because you can't access those variable directly right so to access this variable the data of this variable you need to have a method that could be getter method or if you want to set some value you need to have a setter method so this is the must method which you need to use while implementing the code of encapsulation so variable which is private and it should have a method called getter and setter so you need to have a private data mem member with a getter setter method that's how we can achieve encapsulation it's as simple as that now the important question why we need encapsulation so to achieve security we need encapsulation enhancement will become very easy it improves maintainability and modularity of an application it provide flexibility to the user to use system very easily so this is few advantages of encapsulation which you can answer in any interview suppose the interviewer is asking important question how we are achieving it in the real world means how can we how can i answer where we are using it so as you know the advantages of encapsulation is flexibility and security so in any project if i want to hide my table records my fields in the table suppose in the database i have some defined column name and i don't want it to be shown to the outside world so what i'll do i'll create a encapsulation a class where i'll be defining my data member and i'll be using getter setter method to get those data and set the values into the table this is a basic example which you can include while answering this question now this is all we have for encapsulation in the le next lecture we will see what is polymorphism so hope this video was informative to you if it was informative to you don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys thank you for watching